everybody welcome back so you see my face is a mess as usual but uh, it's a nice day out it's a little cold you can just see my breath a tiny little bit uh, it's not too bad though there's no wind so it's actually nice but the sun is out today so in my backpack I have some uh, charcoal and I have a nice grass-fed steak and uh, we're gonna cook it on the cast iron skillet so this week it was the turn for the uh, the fresh cooked food and um, I picked the steak because it sounded really good so what we're gonna do is take all the wood off of this campfire right here um, I tried to burn it the one day when it was raining and it didn't turn out so I gotta take all that off and then we're gonna put a nice bed of coals there get them lit up and then set the cast iron pan straight on so yep it should turn out pretty good it's a nice piece of meat it's like a six dollar steak because it was from a butcher around here and uh yeah it's a little bit more than usual but hopefully it's nice and tasty so let me clear out this spot and we'll get our charcoal out okay guys so you can see i got this pointing towards the house now but here's a knife i got sent in fan mail and uh i'm gonna use this today for the steak and um i'm gonna cut up some little shavings here and try to get the fire going with my lighter but um if that doesn't work i brought down a uh, bag of fire starter that i want to use up so i'm gonna go and try to get this going because there's not much time left on the camera like on the card so i'm gonna go ahead and get this shaved up and then film lighting the pile up so see you in a second okay guys so i got a fire going you can see through there i got uh there's flames in there and i have a nice amount of lump charcoal on top this is the really chunky kind it's just you know it looks just like a piece of wood but um got a whole mound of it hopefully it goes good never done this before this way so hoping it goes well but just waiting for it to catch okay guys so this is what i have it at so far i went ahead and grabbed just a tiny piece of cardboard and uh stacked coal on or charcoal on top of it I couldn't get it going. Uh, all this wood around here is wet, sadly. And under the pine tree, um, I don't really want to burn like pine. I don't think that'd be a good idea to use that. So, because I don't know, honestly, this may sound dumb, but I don't know if it leaves resin on like the bottom of the pan or whatever, but, oh, that's annoying. So, it's going now. I put a little piece of cardboard in there and stacked it on top and now it's burning, so. Save time on the card. I'm still. I'm gonna let this go, and I'll get back to you once ready. Okay, guys. So the charcoal's going pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set our pan here. It's a lodge pan. Haven't used this one in a bit, actually. So it's gonna be nice using it. Piece of cat hair in here. Hold on. But uh, whew, gives off a lot of smoke, doesn't it? It's because I'm uh, I'm standing and the wind's blowing behind me towards the fire. It's making it just come back at me. So here we go. I'm out of breath. I know. I was just running around. Every time, every time I'm like done running around, I hold the camera. So here we go. See, it's going nice. I'm gonna heat the pan up as comments told me to do. A lot of you guys said to heat the pan up first and then put the steak on or whatever I'm cooking so the pan is on first and then uh, we'll go ahead and get to the steak in the next part okay guys so we are going to grab our steak uh, I'll show you it right now oh it's all muddy here there it is it is a fillet steak see it there it's not too too huge I gotta get out of the, uh, the problem is, um, the smell I'm smelling right now, it's from this, uh, these branches that I'm using that are under the coals, and they smell pretty poisonous to me, so, here we go. Here's the steak I'm using, and it was $5.59, it is .43 of a pound, so almost a half pound, and it says cook thoroughly, I wonder why it says that. I'm just gonna eat it raw. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it on here. 
Whew, the wind did pick up, guys. It is freezing. It's making me sniffle and everything. So here we go. There's the pan. Let's get our knife that was sent in fan mail. I'm going to poke a hole in the bottom and get this blood out. Let me drip this blood over here. I don't want a ton of blood in the pan, you know. I didn't bring any butter down. Um, you guys said I don't really need butter, so I'm not going to use it. And let's open this bag. The bag is open. There's going to be a, a little bit of blood dripping in. It's, it's fine. So you can see, it's in three parts. And I, I noticed that when um, I was looking at up at the house, but I had no clue why it was in three parts. So we're going to cook it just like this. I heated the pan up beforehand. Got to get our Montreal out. I got to flip it a couple times to make sure it doesn't stick. After that, it should be fine. So, let's get our Montreal really quick. That's in my lucky bag over here. Here we go. Montreal. That stuff's delicious. Now, um, I cook my steak uh, over well done, or right around well done. I know <laughs> a lot of you guys in the comments hate when I cook stuff like that, but it's just how I am. I don't know, I just cannot eat stuff that's uh, under like well done. I know I'm not supposed to be flipping these a lot, but they're actually sticking, because there's not a lot of fat here. But I'm going to try to cook it without butter. So, there we go. Let it cook for like two minutes. And then I'll flip them over and I'll get back to you guys. Um, it is a small cut of steak. But I, I'm, I don't know why they have it in four. It should be together, you know. I thought there was three pieces, but I guess there's four. So, yep. Hopefully it cooks nice and well. Doesn't stick. And I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay guys, it's been about two minutes. Uh, this smells very good. It's cooking at a nice speed. It's not going too fast, it's not burning. So that's good. It's moving around nice, so there is you know, a little bit of fat on here, at least enough to not make it stick. So, at the same time though, I'm trying to keep it to where I don't have to keep flipping it because I know that loses juice and stuff. So, yep. See you in a minute. Guys, I turned the camera back on because this is my first time ever having even like a steak like this from a local butcher. I've always had it from like Walmart or something. But the smell off this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I only put a little bit of Montreal on, so right here there's a little piece I'm going to go ahead and try. When I eat this, I'll do it on camera. Don't worry. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Just that little bite has so much flavor. So, I just want to cut it and just say the smell on this is amazing. Guys, I just want to say it's cooking nice. I want to give a little update here on it. Um, it's actually cooking nice and slow. It's not cooking really fast. And uh, I really like that because Normally, you know, when I try to cook it the way I like it, it burns. So, it's not actually burning. It's getting a nice crust on here. I've used no butter or anything. I just put the steak on with seasoning. Add just enough fat to coat the pan. So, yeah, it's cooking really nice. Can't wait to eat it. Okay, guys. So, it's done to my liking. I cut the small piece in half so I can take a nice bite-sized piece. And uh, I'll see you guys up in the air. Okay, guys, so let me grab a bite real quick. Do -do -do -do. While I'm down here eating the steak, I'm going to put the tent back up. It fell over. But um, 
there we go <laughs> my ears are so cold you guys you don't see like how it actually is like it is so much colder out than it looks but these are a nice piece of steak there it is this one's got the little crispy end on it so let's try that first oh my gosh nothing beats like a steak on the fire this has got me hooked on um local meat now might have to order some steaks nice big old bite mmm that's perfectly well done it's got a nice crust one second I'm gonna take this off in a second I don't know why I left them on I don't want it burning Somehow, it stayed really juicy that whole time. And I didn't squeeze it. That's the main thing. I didn't, like, press it. I just kept flipping it. Mmm. That's the best $6 I've spent on food ever. Let me finish chewing this so I can talk. I'm going to go in for another bite here. This is the other half of that piece. Mmm. Can't beat it. Okay, guys, so... Your steak's still on my teeth. <laughs> so, um... What is he doing? Tom, don't come down here. Tom. Don't come down. I'm coming up in a minute, buddy. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Like I was saying for Mr. Wombo got in the way um, that was a very good steak I'm definitely gonna order some meat from a butcher but um I know so you guys want to see the fresh ones and the way I've been doing it is MRE dehydrated and then fresh so that's how I was doing it but I mean I do it every other week now so I mean it wouldn't be bad if I was to do it fresh every other week and then some MREs so just let me know what you guys want if there's anything certain you want please tell me um, I'd like to know what you guys want to see. Nothing too crazy like a, you know, filet mignon, uh, souffle with butter. You know, nothing like that. Something crazy, but anything you think I could probably cook, let me know. I'll try. So, just let me know in the comments, guys. Like I said, I, I listen to you guys. I watch. And, uh, yeah, just let me know because I know you guys like the fresh ones. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I have a gold panning video coming out probably in two days after this video. And then I'll do a live stream. Actually, I might do the live stream first. But um, I'm planning on doing a live stream if I can get my internet to work a little bit better. So I'll see you guys next video. Hope you enjoyed. I got to take Tom back up to the house because he's halfway down. I got to cool. Or not cool down. Please no. I got to warm up and take the steak up. And then I'll come back down and do the tent. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.